It's the job of the artist to interrogate the society in which that person exists. And with something like climate change, which is so monumental, so huge, it's something that I think is affecting everybody. It is a societal problem as much as it is a scientific problem. Climate change is personal, you know, it's going to affect us personally and it does affect lots of people personally. We're coming to a point where people are starting to get quite um, anxious about it. Part of our responsibility as artists is to be helping the communication of it and helping people to grasp it. Egin is a two-week uh, artist residency taking place in Snowdonia, North Wales. Mountains, lakes, trees. Overwhelmingly stunning. Very dramatic. We've really engaged with the environment. You've got people who are critics, you've got poets, you've got musicians, you've got a designer, you've got people who do weaving, you've got documentary filmmakers. There's people from Cardiff and Aberystwyth and Bangladesh and Tasmania and uh, India and Uganda. And we're all here in, in common cause. We really wanted to sink the residency in a much more uh, meaningful way into, into a local community. The Local Connectors was an idea for making each artist feel welcomed here. They were all bringing, bringing, hopefully bringing a connection before they arrive, but then once they're here, they've been bringing in resources and more contacts. One of my favourite parts of the whole two weeks has been seeing these lovely friendships building up and continued engagement, more and more engagement from the Connectors, plus friends of Connectors and partners of Connectors and children coming in and being engaged over, over the two weeks. We programmed a series of uh, climate conversations which are open to the local community here, um, focusing on four different themes. The talks moved from land first, uh, then we moved into money, which was really about leveraging resources. And then from money we went into rebellion, and from rebellion we're going into hope. There's just been such a hunger for this discussion. It feels like people really want to spend time in a supported environment to discuss what the challenges are. Snowdonia is such a special place. It's been incredible to share the rich diversity of our landscape and heritage with the artists. We've introduced them to local historians, farmers, scientists and wardens, all giving their own personal perspective on what makes this place special to them. Welsh Government has set a challenge to all public bodies in Wales to think more about how we look after our environment. For organisations like ours, the way that people live is at the heart of this challenge and we need to find new ways of talking about our future. I think somehow living together this closely has brought that, like, reality to it. It's been really great to just be given the permission to play. We don't provide solutions, but we provide a dialogue, create narratives, and probably give new perspectives. I think that's what art should be. The biggest thing really I'll take away is the, is the people. There's something so magical about working towards a common goal, trying to keep the planet alive, and trying to make sure that we can all see another day. I think it's absolutely brilliant that National Theatre Wales, Natural Resources Wales, uh, National Trust, um, our other partners and collaborators have all actually provided this opportunity and said this is something that we need to look at. I really feel the whole area has been slightly lifted by this and the, there will be a legacy in the local area, not just for the artists, 